Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Jackass Retro. My name is Matt, uh, and back again with another what sold video. Uh, this is everything that sold pretty much between uh, yesterday's shipping cutoff around 11, and now it's about 1 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. Uh, in that time, uh, sold 15 postcards on eBay for $126, and amazingly, two on hip. Hip woke up for 40 bucks. Um, so pretty excited about that. Hopefully that trend continues. And uh, let's take a look at what's sold. Boom. All right. Uh, Valentine's Day is quickly approaching, so not surprising that there's uh, going to be some Valentine's cards uh, in these upcoming videos. Uh, I like this one, sort of a comic. You're a cut-up, but I'd like to be your Valentine. Whitney made. Nice. Uh, I really like the Whitney made cards. They all look pretty nice, and they seem to actually hold up pretty well uh, to the test of time. So uh, this one here sold for uh, $5.91 on an offer sent to watchers. Next up, we have the Old Cemetery in Barrie, Illinois. Uh, obviously, this card has seen some better days. Um, I priced it accordingly. It's a Fotet uh, postcard. This is kind of interesting. Not a photo, but called a Fotet. Um, had it been in better condition, I could have gotten more out of it. Uh, as such, I got $9.95 plus shipping. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I just missing a corner, right? So can't I can't really complain about that. This one came from the uh, recent pickup uh, from my collector friend. Next up, pretty uh, almost standard view. This is a div uh, divided back uh, of the dials of the St. Croix River. Unposted doubles chair. Um, I've seen quite a few of these. Uh, I've listed quite a few of these. I've sold quite a few of these. Uh, it's a pretty common Wisconsin subject. So uh, sold for $3.95 plus shipping. We've got uh, another one here, a couple of Wisconsin's. I think these may have gone, no, these went to the same, I went to a different buyer actually. So uh, this is the Vernon Royal Lake Winnesaka Cliff House. Um, New York, New York, color, hand-colored Albertite. Hand-colored Albertite. Uh, this sold with another card. The total was $11.90. They get 10% uh, off uh, for buying two. So the second one they purchased was the Windermere House in Minnewaska, New York. So two Lake Minnewaska postcards, same buyer, total of $11.90 plus shipping. Here we have the uh, castle at Fort, I'm going to say this wrong, Moultrie, Moultrie? Uh, in Sullivan Island, Charleston Harbor, South Carolina. Uh, got some cannons here, got some walls. It's not the greatest of, of images, um, but it's a recreation from a, a photo from 1865. So, you know, what do you expect? It ain't going to look great. Old photography never did. Uh, regardless, this one took $7.95 plus shipping. Uh, Sales Memorial Hospital in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, this came from a, a lot I purchased right off of eBay. Um, this card basically paid for the lot, $4.95 plus shipping. Hospitals sell very well. Uh, this sold very quick, and it makes me think that I perhaps undervalued it, but um, similar cards sold around this price amount, so it sold very, very quickly. Um, uh, listed this morning, sold uh, within a couple of hours. So, um, Indian Totems in Alert Bay, British Columbia. Really nice real photo postcard, 1945. Uh, the sensor uh, stamp here, so... Um, could have been a, a communication home via military, most likely, actually, since it was during World War II. Um, yeah, 
pretty happy with the 1195 and moving on. We've got the Casbah Room and Hotel Bellarive. Well, uh, linen postcard, Kansas City, Missouri. Nice interior view, obviously, was mounted at some point. Um, regardless, uh, this one took $3.95 plus shipping. Really, it's all about the front of the card. The front of this card looks great. The colors on this are amazing. I mean, I could imagine going to a show here, sitting at one of these front tables, you know, coming in through the uh, back door, walking all the way through the kitchen, saying hi to all the cooks, waving hi to uh, Jimmy two times, coming in, tipping the waiter, having him put his table just for me right in front. Nice card, three ninety five plus shipping. All right, we got the uh, the lime kilns in uh, Wild Rose Canyon. This is Death Valley. Death Valley, great location, very good seller. Uh, I could not find a match for this exact view of the lime kilns, but um, uh, it did sell very quickly, nonetheless. Uh, I put it up at nineteen ninety five uh, plus shipping. I like the nineteen ninety five number. Versus versus going up to like a twenty three dollar price or twenty four ninety five. If you go to twenty four ninety five price, you've got to charge the customer for first class. At nineteen ninety five, I can charge them a dollar twenty, and you know it's kind of like coming coming halfway because the reality is on a twenty five dollar price card, I'm going to take twenty bucks. So I just do nineteen ninety five, no offer option, dollar twenty shipping. That way, I can get it out the cheaper rate. And um, it's been working very well for me. You've probably seen in some of the couple of previous videos, a lot of 1995 price point cards. So um, pretty happy with this. Death Valley. There we go. This came from the recent pickup from a uh, uh, local collector. Just making my way back to profitability on that one. Uh, this is uh, the next two are going to the same buyer. These are both Ashland, Oregon. This is the ski area uh, and lodge. And the next one is the Southern Oregon College right here. So both of these are unposted and they went for a total of $6.95 plus shipping to the same customer. Uh, we've got a nice one here, Babcock State Park, West Virginia. This is cabin number four. Uh, this one also came from the local pickup. Uh, Pretty much top of the top of the market for this subject, uh, being Babcock State Park and cabins. Uh, I didn't find this exact view, um, but I put it up fourteen ninety five, no offer option, dollar twenty shipping, and uh, had a, a buyer relatively quickly, a matter of a few days. Next, Chaffee County Courthouse in Salida, Colorado. Uh, there was one other card up and it was like eight ninety five, and it's been up for a while. So I just underpriced him a little bit, uh, $6.95 plus shipping, um, sent out a 5% off offer. They took it and, uh, off we go. Sanborn photo. Um, if possible, you know, you, you want to research the photographers on these and sometimes, uh, you get a nice hit and, uh, yeah, moving on. Next up, we have the Cohanga Pass Freeway, uh, looking towards Hollywood, California. Um, this is the, uh, I mistitled this one, obviously. It should have said, or I either put up the wrong picture, but uh, either they bought the card or they bought the title. I guess I'll have to message the customer and find out. Um, wrong photo got uploaded here. Um, I'll send them a message, but, uh, they paid me, <laughs> they paid me seven ninety five. Uh, I don't think I have the, uh, the Rose Bowl float still up. So, uh, moving on, we got a couple of hip orders going out. This is long bridge in Booton, Boonton, New Jersey. Um, had to do a little research as to what the name of the bridge was, but really nice. Uh, image here. It is a lithograph, not a real photo. Made in Germany, unposted, divided back. 
Uh, this one went full price, thirty four ninety five. Uh, I did not have an offer option on this card. And this also came from the recent pickup, as did this. This is the approach to the uh, hospital for the insane in St. Peter, Minnesota. Uh, actually, a very common card on eBay. Um, I priced it to, you know, fairly competitively. Uh, and that actually sold on hip, which is great. Uh, $6.95 plus shipping. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Thank you very much for watching. I'm trying to do these more often. If you like this kind of content, please make sure you're subscribed. Uh, hit that like button, bell notification, so you know whenever one of these videos drop or I go live, which is pretty much every morning. And I want to thank you once again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.